Hello. I have returned. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good intro. YouTube's telling me that I, I'm I'm not a good content creator. That I should be that I should be doing more. Uh, oh, I have a video today. Um, I got a lot of stuff to go through. Um, I got a whole list. First off, uh, announcements. Then a little bit of a call to action because since YouTube sells me, I should be shamelessly self-promoting. I guess that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, so, first off, I'm back to BDO. Been a little bit. Um, it's a little bit of a ghost town in this place. There's nobody around. There's like half the people that are normally here. What the hell happened? Not even any people running horses, really. I mean, there's, there's one of my guildies. And a couple of wagons. Like, you st th th that's lo there's a training life skill event going on. What? Are <sighs> Enough outrageousness aside. So, I want to address BDO. Um, what I've been doing in the three weeks that I was gone. Basically, I've gone fishing. I got a lot of fish. I haven't sold them yet. Because I wanted to, you hear beeping in the background, that's uh, the other PC turning on because the cat just won't keep her little ass down. Stay off of it. She insists on stepping on the power button every, every time. She's going to end up breaking it one of these days. Anyway, uh, fishing. I went fishing. I haven't sold the um, event fish yet because i wanted to do it on camera uh however i did deposit a lot of the silver that i made i made probably over a billion off random junk uh, i dumped a lot of that in the warehouse along with all the other silver that i had collected before and i also made a boatload of ancient relic shards um which are going to be good later on so we're going to go sell all these fish i'm pretty sure that i made about eight or nine billion silver off of that uh, we're at 594 right now. Sell, sell, sell. And the big one. Yeah, we made almost 9 billion off of that. Plus, I made probably over the three weeks at close to, if not a little over a billion, just off random uh, fish. Like yellow and uh, red fish that were uh, reeled in during that event. Uh, so there is that now the other I always dump all my silver I don't know if that picked up or not I have a new phone notification and my wife likes to well if you're married you understand she loves to notify me of things even when I probably don't need to be notified Anyway, struggles are hard. Let's move forward. Uh, we got 15 billion there, 391 in the in the pocket, and uh, nothing to collect there. I've got a bunch more um, crates, which they messed up my quick thing. So Moodle is now known as a town. It's no longer a city. I don't know why they changed the category like that, but they did. Um, it's stupid. It makes me have to do an extra click. MMO players don't like to do extra clicks it's annoying so we're gonna keep on keeping on because i got other announcements um let me set this up and then we'll get into some other stuff so i've been chopping wood trying to catch up on all the processing junk that i need to do looks like i got most of this done we're gonna start on the uh the cedar uh, logs and we'll go from there while i talk so like bbo uh so uh, the other thing leading into this is that uh, I haven't had any wrist pain since I've been <laughs> not playing BDO. I made in that. So uh, that that bodes ill for for my content because I kind of need to grind. And uh, 
that makes me a problem have have a problem so i'm at to switch up my bdo plan uh i'm i you know grinding is just not that fun anyway people are moving away from the game because of that being the only thing to do and i'll talk about that in a little bit but the other announcement are that uh i've got two memberships on the channel are live if you're into that sort of thing um youtube told me to do a video announcing it so here you go five bucks there's some emojis there's badges uh you get shout outs uh occasionally i'm gonna try and post some uh member only content plus there's a discord there's with private discord channels that I've set up, and that leads me to the announcement. It's a work in progress. I haven't really ever messed with Discord much, so there's a lot for me to read and figure out and stuff. Um, so if something's screwed up on there, then I guess when people become members, they'll figure it out if they want to, uh, and they'll let me know if I need to fix something. But it is. There it is. Have at it. That's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> Memberships are live. Uh, check it out if that's your thing. If not, cool. Um enjoy the content anyway moving on um trying to keep this short uh that being said if you don't want to be a member um subscribe leave comments any kind of interaction helps the channel and i appreciate it and if you're going to leave a comment give me your opinion on the future of bdo and and my channel um what's going to happen you know if if the game does die out like a lot of the big creators are talking about, and, and I am going to touch on this here in, here in a minute, um, then my channel is basically centered around BDO, and I'm going to have to pivot. Uh, I've dabbled in maybe some other games, and I'll talk about them here in a, in next, but the um, takeaway from that is I like Black Desert. I don't want to quit Black Desert, and I think it's very easy for people to jump on the the train as it's leaving the station of a couple of creators that are disgruntled and unhappy with certain aspects of the game, and then people kind of just all jump onto that train, and then next thing you know, the population has left completely. We'll see if Pearl Abyss turns it around. I'm not leaving until I see some, like, no going back type of updates, you know, if, if, if I'm confident. But uh, I'm just going to pivot how I play the game. I want to work. There isn't really any, any um, point to any of it, you know, because, I mean, it's just at the end of the day, it's a video game, and you can live without it. <laughs> uh, probably spend your time being more productive elsewhere, but they're fun. And the problem that I see is that people don't really know how to play sandbox games. They go and they will treat this like a theme park MMO, RPG, and it's not. There's about 40 different ways to play. Yes, if you do the most efficient min-max way, you're going to end up just running circles, grinding monsters for the most efficient use of your time, and you're going to get burnt out, and you're not going to want to play anymore. However, that's not what the game is all about. And I lost track of that. I, I went down that hole, and uh, I've climbed my way back out. And the only way I climb my way back out is to take a three, four-week break. Luckily, it was a planned break that... Uh, was kind of out of my control so i was i was forced into it a little bit um and i'm thankful for that so i'm getting back to the way i used to play uh casually and uh push for the things that i want to accomplish and not worry about gear score so much because if i do that i'm not going to want to play anymore um, the demo grind sucks really bad. Uh, it's not designed well. The fact that they want to funnel everybody into grinding thousands of hours to complete Pendeparekas and how they're going to funnel people into doing sovereign weapons. It, it's not a good look. They need to work on some life skill stuff. They need to finish consolidating all of the bloatware and bloated item count in the game. And then they need to uh, heavily rethink the direction. Um, obviously... Black Desert has been so successful because, at least in the past, because it offered a broad amount of things to do, and it wasn't, it wasn't a good game because of PvP. It wasn't a good game just because of combat, and it wasn't a good game just because of RPG elements. It was a good game because it offered some of all of these things. 
and together as a package in a open world that didn't have loading screens and everyone existed in the same world, you know, and, and that's, and it allowed, it did, there wasn't any barrier to entry in any of these things, you know, and um, it's very possible to play the game without even spending money upon, uh, above the, the initial, like, $1 or $10 or whatever it is, uh, game price. So, I don't know, it's, When I see a lot of people, uh, especially the bigger creators, that are pushing pushing the game and pushing ideas about it, uh, when I see them carrying a shovel, digging a hole, and just trying to bury the game and move on, it, it doesn't sit well with me. And some voices are loud because they care so much, some voices are loud just because they want to watch the world burn, you know? So, it, it, it's a lot of of here and there and I forgot to um... no I still got it it's good I thought I forgot to switch my things around so that's my opinion um, now as far as dying like I said people don't know how to play sandbox games uh, the game is not on rails you can go and literally never touch a quest you can go and literally never touch a life skill like you don't it doesn't hold your hand um, that leading me on to next I tried playing as a pacifist and I failed. I killed a bug. Uh, I kept it going because people wanted to view, but after that happened, uh, my heart wasn't in it. Uh, I felt like I lost and I didn't really want to continue. So it petered out. I guess you could call it that. It kind of lost steam because I lost steam. And I think that translated into the content and it was terrible to watch. I uh, tried to cover it up with the pirate series that I wasn't fully into. I love the sea content, but. Again, it was coming off of the back of a challenge that I'd lost, that I'd set for myself, and I just wasn't happy. And the videos ended up being an hour long to make progress, and I was pushing too much, and so it was unenjoyable to watch. I, I get that. Um, so I'm going to pick it back up on the wizard, and we're going to do some stuff. Um, I, I have a few video ideas um, that I want to tease. Basically... Uh, I've talked a little bit about it, but fishing, I want to, I want to talk about how I use fishing to, um, do a foundation. I'll do a future, this is going to be future video stuff. Uh, basically how I use fishing to build the foundation of, of income, uh, silver. Uh, I want to do a video on succession wizard PVE combos because succession wizard is, it's simple, but complicated. Uh, no one plays it. Maybe just me and about three other people. Uh, especially in PvE. Um, I want to level my hunting up to Guru. I should start working on that because we have 50% life XP right now. Uh, I still want to push for bartering stuff. I want to do a video on how I prepare for Black Star Enhancing, how I get my materials, and, and the best way to go about that. And then I thought maybe I might make a... 100 billion silver challenge or something stupid like that. Hi, I'm Vin, and here's how I became a trillionaire <laughs> in Black Desert. Now, uh, I want to take some small amount of silver and uh, do different investments and different uh, things and see if it pans out, see if I can I can make silver out of it. So I thought these were some interesting ideas. Uh, let me know if you agree. If not, well, buckle your seatbelt. We're going down this road, and I'm going to put out videos when I can. No longer going to try and adhere to three videos a week because I'm burnt out. I really was, and it was showing. Uh, so I'm going to set and think of video ideas and put out a video when I can. Uh, when I get it recorded and when I do it. So there may be one a week or two a week. It may be skipping a week. Who knows? But we'll push forward because I'm not going away and I'm not quitting. Uh, which is more than I can say for some of my fellow content creators for this game. Um, other things. Other games. Uh, I've done quite a few Last Chaos videos recently. I like to touch that game every once in a while. They were having good uh, events. So I was taking advantage of that to just kind of level up and uh, work on the game. Because it was a personal goal of mine to reach in-game ever and, and reach a level cap and be geared ever since I started playing that game in its original state back when it first came out um 
Guild Wars 2 I really enjoy, but it's just so long-winded, it's hard to make content on it. I can't, I mean, I can continue doing long plays, but an hour at a time, there's, it's so hard to find an hour to sit and watch a video anymore. You know, 20 minutes, great, 25 minutes, maybe. 30 plus two is is hard, and then an hour, if you're grinding on BDO, I guess that's fine, but an hour is hard pressed to even, like, I, I understand, I have ADHD, I don't want to sit and watch stuff. Sometimes I hyper focus and then I can, but if it's just, I don't know, <laughs> it, it, it doesn't seem, seem good. I've kind of picked up League of Legends a little bit recently, too, back again, uh, which I feel bad even saying that. I've played it a few times recently. Uh, and I've had fun. I've got my ass kicked over and over again, but you know League of Legends is one of those games where that's part of the appeal to the game is to hate your freaking teammates and be mad I, it, It's what makes the game good. I guess I don't know uh, Definitely makes your blood pressure go up. You probably Probably maybe that's why a lot of League of Legends players that are streamers are so skinny because they have high like they're screaming non-stop. They're using so many other calories screaming at their teammates. I don't know. <laughs> so there's one uh, other thing that I wanted to touch on. I've kind of fallen in love with roguelikes or roguelites, whatever you want to call them, uh, recently. I haven't been playing them, but I've been watching a lot of un 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 unhealthy amount of content on, on YouTube from other creators of about rogue roguelites. Uh... And I always thought if I did push myself to build a game, a roguelite would be one of the uh, genres on the list that I would want to delve into. Uh, because it's cool, you know? I, I like the isolated runs, but I also like the longevity of uh, global stat increases and unlockables over time. But then the run is like an isolated instance, you know, where um, if you die, it... it you start over or, or whatever maybe it's just because I grew up in the 90s and most of our games were kind of like that uh, that we had you know um, but if there's a good roguelike or roguelite that uh, you want to see me play suggest it and I'll look into it because I am very interested and I've been consuming a lot of roguelike content um, I, I saw a, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one the other day for Switch, and I was watching that. It looked pretty fun. I don't, uh, I didn't buy it. I don't have it, but it did look fun. It was interesting to watch. Um, and of course, a while back, Vampire Survivors was real popular. That that game looked fun, but sometimes I don't like all the screen clutter with all of that just glittery just effects all over the screen. So uh, sometimes that is overwhelming to me, but. But uh, ones that are a little bit less screen cl cluttered um, appeal to me. And, and, it, and for some reason, like, oh, I would unlock this skill instead of the one that the, that the guy uh, that's playing it would do. And I would go down this path. And, and you know, it, it's just theory crafting again. <laughs> but that's what I've been interested in. That's what I've been doing. Um, real life updates. Which you might see a lot more of because if I start doing member-only content, uh, it's probably going to be real-life stuff. Let's be honest. Um, that's probably more interesting than BDO right now. We got a bunch of new uh, chickies, uh, baby chickens. We got guineas and a mix of other ones. Um, so I've been taking care of them. Lots of storms this week uh, in this area, so I've been stuck inside. Um, we've just been, been kind of kind of doing some changes around and I don't have a lot going on in terms of big progress right now because I need to be outside doing stuff and it's raining so farming's not going well <laughs> touched on programming touched on games um, made my announcements I gotta make that's pretty much all I had on my list uh, so I'm pushing for the next video that comes out on Black Desert when I get it done here in the next few days to a week uh, is going to be Succession Wizard uh, PvE combos. I want to explain that, so that look forward to that. Uh, again, subscribe, like, dislike, comment, rage comment, hate comment. I don't care. Just interact. Um, interaction's good. 
long-term BDO goals for right now, my foreseeable uh, future. Uh, definitely hunting Guru and uh, pushing to amass a huge amount of silver for no reason. Other than the fact that I like big numbers on my screen. Uh, Black Desert would have a huge, huge quality of life improvement if they would allow us to have damage numbers pop up on the screen. And I understand if it's impossible because of the way the game is designed or engine built or whatever, if that's the truth that they told us, but I like seeing big numbers. They already pop up if it's a critical hit or not, so just give me the number. But, uh, yeah. I'm probably going to keep processing. Um, let's go over that real quick and then I'll end this off. I am thinking with the whole trying to push for silver. Instead of grinding, since I it's clear, my wrists are not going to take it. Uh, I've been fine being away from, from BDO for a few weeks. And I have had no pain. Uh, so I can't do all of the super micro movements so grinding is going to be a few and far between when i can do it so i'm going to have to find other ways to make silver um, or just afk my way to where i need to go uh, but i think i'm going to dive heavy into these trade crates um, we'll see uh, i may need this network set up even more anyway i mean i'm getting a lot of them going but I've only got a few workers, and I don't even have them producing right now. Get out of my... Get out of here. I don't even have them producing right now, um, but I do have a couple of, like... You know what? Let's re-roll these while I'm here. Thrifty C, Adept, Simple. Don't need move speed. Don't need lucky guy. I, I hate re-rolling these. Specialty, no work, don't need you. Really don't need move speed because you never leave town. This worker's terrible. This is my prized, prized worker. 84. Uh, what does he need? Three, he needs thrifty A. And then that's pretty much it. Did you get thrifty A? No. Furniture. Give me thrifty A. Oh, advanced production for weapons. Look at all the advanced production ones. Ore packing, mushroom packing, timber packing, uh, produce packing. I don't need weapon or armor. Um, so we're going to reroll weapon, but that's pretty cool to have all of them. And I don't need that. I need thrifty. Tool knowledge, can't get it. Um, yeah, so... That's how I'm making my super workers. Uh, I'm trying to get thrifty A, B, and C on all of them. One of them does have all the thrifties. It just doesn't have any of the advanced. And then I'm trying to get it advanced produce, timber, mushroom, ore, packing. And then I guess it can have life clothes. Armor and weapon production I really don't give a crap about. Um, but artisan level 40 and then I just start re-rolling them. Um, but... I'm probably going to look at getting more uh, workers and shops out of this. I have to get more um, contribution points, which is hard because I'm at 451 and you hardly get any. But that's another problem for another day. Um, so that's where I'm going to go. Uh, that's what I'm working on. That's how I'm going to move forward. Um, but that's all I got. And so I'll end it off. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and a little bit of insight into uh, how I feel about the game. I don't have a problem with it. I've just kind of changed how I view it and what I get out of it. And I'm not going to listen to the super content creators on here or the super PvP people. Because if I do, then I'm going to hate the game and probably myself for giving so much time to it. Uh, so for now, I'm just going to play it like a sandbox. Do what I want to do. Work on my own goals. And, uh, you know, it's a solo game any anyway. Uh, everybody else can do what they want to do, but we're moving forward. Um, I do think quality of life, give us damage numbers, give us player trading. I understand why they don't have it in, but figure out a way to give it to us. Let us be a community, and that would fix a lot of the problems. 
Anyway, I'm out of here. You guys have a good uh, few days, and I'll see you in the next one. As always, until next time.